Hello, welcome. You got any rooms? Rooms all yours. Head on up. Sir, you'll need to wash up a bit if you want to impress the ladies around here. I need a wash. You got a bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Hey. How'd you like some help in here? Maybe another time. All right, I'll leave you to it then. So sorry for the girls around here. Excuse me, sugar. Thank you. Hey, get moving. Interested in a good read? You won't be sorry. Thanks. Have a great day.
Here. Just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing but... You got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do uh, Sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And... You'll be... Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well... Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
change what's done. We can only move on. You have it in you, I can tell. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Fried the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson will... Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. 
I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Why well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where did you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <sighs> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope um, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this. With a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian Eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. Please descend a little. There isn't enough wind at this height. Descent, or we won't move. That's it. Try to 
keep us around this height. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. This is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. This was not the tour I had in mind. Uh, I see some on the right. Nope, not there. Okay, ain't by the barn. That ain't John. Please hurry. What's that down to your right? I is that someone down to your right? Should we, uh, think about heading back? I see a group just above where you're looking. Looks like him. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! We should stay at this altitude. Heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf! Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased! Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Say it! Up there! You're just... 
Us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! Ah!
show them! The hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kinda liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay then, girl.
homes for the blind. Feeling. Worse. Like you said I would. Well, what can I get for you? Another shot, maybe? Let me just stock up on my supplies. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. This place. I don't think folks go to church. The fella came down here looking for a whorehouse. Peace, children! Mr. Morgan! I won't keep you any longer. Hello, sister. Hey, Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? <laughs> Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in 
very nasty terms, as you wish. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Fabulous, you <laughs> will be so happy. <gasps> well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. of your time.
Let's go, girl. Hey there, mister. Oh, hello, Arthur. Well, my bed is calling me. Excuse me, Mary Beth. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pickertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they... Want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my 
my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning at chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. All right, sir. Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Hmm. You'll see. I know the way. Follow me. Okay, my girl. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while. Ben managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Watch it. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. So just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course.
There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Come on, let's stay together. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Walk it from here. Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning.
can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. See that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to them. Come on, up this way. Come on. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. A bitch, you know that. What are you waiting for? Quick, Arthur. You stupid dang it! I'm a piss on your call! That was close. Let's go, Arthur. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What do you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. I surprised them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with.
Let's get this over with.
Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with.
Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly.
Let's get this over with. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly.
house. You see any more? Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. Just calm down. Please don't kill me. It's okay, miss. No! We ain't gonna hurt you. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yep.
Morning, sir. Let's go. I got places to be. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy brood got Oh, my darling. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> this is death. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her. Drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing, Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Damn. <sighs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a 
fucking murderer! She broke the rules! She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer! Murderer! How are you?